Hey, Clara Adelaine at the Love for Life Academy and excited to be going live again. I'm so loving these moments of connection, truth, love, the truth around love. I just want to share a mo check a moment because my plan is actually to be sharing this in another group at the same time that I'm doing this. Well, let me check if I can do that. <laughs> <clears throat> so stay with me a moment, get something to drink. I will start in a second. Share in a group. We're going right now into the art of a relationship you love. Hey. I always love it when technology works. <laughs> it's almost as good as when our relationship works. Not quite, but still. That feeling of I can do what I want, right? I can have it all. And that's what we want in love too. But so many women, probably you as you're listening, you're successful, career-driven, mission-driven. But somehow life, love, dating is not working out. You're dating, you're feeling like it's supposed to be fun, right? Dating, it's supposed to be one of the most fun parts of your life. But it doesn't feel at all like that. It's supposed to be filled with heart, with connection, with hope, with possibility. It's supposed to boost your confidence as you feel that, you know, you have an effect on people. But actually the opposite is happening. And what you're feeling is you're not being seen, you're not being respected, you're being used. It's all about sex, it's draining, it's boring, and you lose confidence. And after a date you go home and it's like it always rains after you go home, right? That feeling, you just feel terrible. And it's a moment like, can I jump in the river now, right? It's just like all the sadness, everything that's not working out in your life. It's as if all of that comes to the surface when you walk home after yet another yucky date. Still, it doesn't have to, have to be that way. I'm just coming off for Q&A with my clients. It's all about how exciting dating is. It's all about, wow, there was this connection. Now, was this really connection or was it more superficial? You know, it's so beautiful. It is such much beauty and love happening. And we're exploring it and going deeper into it. And it's bringing our group together. And it is boosting these women in their lives. So what is different? What do we do different? That dating becomes what it is supposed to be, a fun thing that actually gets you your man and that actually gets you a conscious, committed relationship. Well, one of the things that we do different is that we show up. <laughs> now that sounds obvious, right? I know, I know, but let me continue. Let me say a bit more. One of the things that we do is we really show up. We really come in presence. I sometimes say it's you come in your Buddha because then we all know what I mean, right? You're, you're there. You're not trying to create something from it, what I call grasping. You're not trying to shift things. You're not trying to make something. We accuse the man of doing that, right? He just came up because he wanted sex. That's an attitude of wanting something from you. But we make sure that we don't sh show up the same way. I want a conscious committed relationship from you. Will you be the one? We can speak about those things. That's a whole other thing. But when we come with this energy, that's just the same killer. It's the energy that's the killer. Because you're not in your Buddha, you're not just there, you're not connecting with him. Who is this? You're not seeing the vulnerability in him. 
nor in yourself. Those are the shifts we are making. We are seeing the vulnerability in him, in me, how fragile all of us are in the search of love. When we show up that way, different things happen immediately. And I can tell you because I witness it every week. Some women go to grasping. I want this kind of man, will you be it? Other women go to pushing away. We spoke about that actually in our morning group call also. What if somebody is really right and you notice him pushing him into the friend zone instead of staying open to possibility? That's pushing away. I'm not going to let you close. Yeah, you're nice, we're friends, that's it. Join under control. Uh, uh, not under control because you feel lousy. Where's the control here? We do that differently. We look at this pattern. We look at really in the moment. When did that fear pop up? How did I allow that fear to pop up? What else was going on? And how can I shift that dynamic? How was I maybe touched? Because this was an opportunity here. Can I breathe into that? This is the work and it's delicious in itself. Even when you're not on the date, there is so much growth and enjoyment and presence to be received from these dates when we do it this way. So we don't allow ourselves to put our, uh, our stamp on it, our seal. We don't allow ourselves to define the situation. We don't ourselves to define it by making it a friend zone thing. And neither do we allow ourselves to desensitize. Just tell your story, do your thing the way you think a date should be done. Go home and then ask yourself, what happened? That's desensitizing. Those are the three typical ways to escape a date. That would be a good title too, how to escape your dates. <laughs> We are aware of these things. We work on these things. And we come as a Buddha on our date. We are in connection with ourselves, with the moment. And that means we can also meet him. Because truly, if you want to know one thing about dating, one thing that's important, can you meet him? And that doesn't only mean showing up on time. It means way more than that. Can you meet him? Can you be present while all these things are going on? Man, woman, energies, butterflies, resistances, fears. While all of that is going on, are you totally taken by that? Like finally I'm feeling some butterflies? <laughs> or are you being present with it? And in that, also having space to be present with him. Are, are, is he just trying to have you feel butterflies? Or is he having butterflies too? That's very different. And you can absolutely feel that when you make yourself present in the situation. So this is one of the most important things to make dating fun to have it lead to what you want, a conscious, committed relationship, to have it bring you an amazing, powerful man who is in his heart and who can communicate and be present with you. Hearing it, we want the man to be present with us and we make sure that we are present with him. Now, you don't have to have years of Buddhist practice for this can help, but it can also actually stand in your way. Both is true. But what is most important is that you <coughs> get help. This is difficult to do on your own, right? Because it is about all those unconscious things that just pop up. I see myself pushing him in the friend zone. I've been doing that for my whole life, 20 years, 15 years, 10 years. Now, just telling yourself I need to change that is not going to change that. Again, doing lots of 
Buddhist practice on your own meditation cushion or in a dojo usually doesn't change it either. Why? Because there's no butterflies there. And as soon as we go into the dating and the butterflies start whirling around your head, all of that you practiced is gone. So we practice it in the dating situation. And that is so immensely powerful about this path. We practice it in the dating situation. And I have specific tools for my clients to help them do that. So that actually within a few weeks, the whole sabotaging thing just disappears. Well, disappears is too strong, but it's not paralyzing you anymore. One of the reasons I've come to understand that women's love lives can stay stuck for 10, 15, 20 years is that actually so much is okay already. There is just one thing that is sabotaging the whole process. And when we can shift that one thing, boom, everything starts shifting. I've come to understand that that is why I get these crazy results. Why I have women in the group now, not even eight weeks of me, two of them having amazing partners within the two, eight weeks, right? Just happens and it's so wonderful to be part of it. Why? Because it's so much you have is in place. It's just this one thing that is blocking you and when you're not aware of it, it will block it for 10, 15, 20 years. But when you work on it, and one of the things we do here is working on this Buddha presence, as I sometimes call it for fun, being in your Buddha state. We all know what that means, right? When we practice on that in dating, that's one of the things that can create that avalanche of beauty and heart connection happening. And there's other things I work on too, pleasure, intimacy, the new intimacy, the new communication and really rooting in your goddess, your feminine source of feminine energy, of radiating feminine energy, feminine, feminine all over, right? We all see it. When we see one of those women who is so feminine, we know it's not hard for her to find a man. It's a bit simplified. But what is important is you can be that woman. And you don't need to go to the hairdresser every week you don't need to wear lipstick and high heels. You may if you like it, but you don't have to. It's not about that. And you actually know that. And still we allow the media to give us this message of lipstick, high heels, skin, creams, you know. But we all know it's not about that. We've all seen women in their 80s radiating feminine energy. We've all seen women in rags radiating feminine energy so it's and that is what the goddess is about to tap into that source so this is an amazing journey what i always love is when the women say you know i'm so glad that my dating is shifting but what is just as beautiful is that people are seeing it they're telling me you're changing you're you're, you're in better place now aren't you people see it relationships with family, with friends, it all improves. It's not an awesome path to be in. And isn't that how dating is supposed to be? It opens your heart and then there's more heart for everyone around you. There's no need to dive on your small little island with your partner, which then becomes a pain island <laughs> instead of a pain paradise or no, you're oh, ooh, no confusion. But you're feeling it all in your life. Because it's not scarce. It's not something like, oh, I have to protect it. I only feed it with him, so I want to be with him all the time. No, you start feeling it here. So I always radiate during these calls. I guess that's why I love them. Because there is so much beauty to share, so much beauty going on here. And when you're in my group, The Art of a Relationship You Love, you have the opportunity there to look around and read all those stories. Many, by the way, only share it in that group because it feels intimate, right? When love is new, 
oh, it's not something you want to go all over the internet with. So that's why I agree with my women. Like we do it in the group and that's in that safe space. You can share it. So that's why I'm also very selective about who I let into that group and why it's a special place. You, you feel this magic there. You feel this is a place of hope, of making dreams come true, of finding committed conscious relationship and attracting the right man. Attract him, see him, recognize him, and let him in. So if you're not in my group let, yet, maybe I can let you into my group. Fill out the three questions and apply to join. And, you know, if you feel like you're ready to work with me, that's what I do, right? I'm here to let you know that I actually work with women. Take them through this eight-week journey. Some of them sign up for a whole year afterwards, quite a lot, actually, because they feel all these shifts happening. But that, those eight weeks, they are, they're boot camp. They shift everything. So I want that for you too, if this is what you is on your bucket list, to feel more yourself, more in your Buddha, and to have your love, dating, working out, moving into conscious, committed relationship with an amazing man. If that's on your list, you know, reach out. We make it happen here. Also for the ones who think this is not for me, we make it happen here. That's <clears throat> what I stand for and the energy that's been coming here, being created here, and that is so powerful. So welcome, a big welcome. And if you have questions, you know, PM me, chat to me. I love to chat back with you. It's such a, a, a ride we are on, and I know this is meant for way more women still. No need to stay lost in being single if that's not what you choose. Speak soon, have an amazing day, and be in your Buddha. Aloha. And then always find the end button.